Let's discuss. Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I will be checking out a new track from 156 Silence which is excellent news. This will be the third single taken from their upcoming album Narrative which will be out on September 2nd. I am loving these singles so far for all to blame has been my favorite but uh, with each release 156 Silence just keeps proving that they are consistent. Uh, they are excellent so who knows, this may end up being my favorite. So To Take Your Place will be the song we're checking out today. I will link the visualizer or music video I'll be reacting to, as well as all of their social media in the description. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get straight into it. Fifty-six silence to take your place. Let's discuss. 
with a past embrace and for all to blame i have had those tracks on repeat first of all i love them they are very 156 sounding especially i've mentioned i did reactions for both of them um some of the the talking stuff a lot of the flow having that heaviness and sort of crushing in their their instrumentals but with this track in the intro i even heard the synth there and i was like huh but then as soon as the song drops it's it it's very you know 156 sounding it's got that heaviness that flow uh, that i was talking about i was paying attention to the lyrics so i sort of forgot about that so when it came back around i was like anyway so it has that sound for sure in some of the verses on this song, that very first one in the flow that I was talking about. There's just something in the vocals, uh, in the delivery, and and some of the, I'm not even sure, maybe it's pronunciation in some of the, I'm, I have no idea what it is, but uh, you probably know what I'm talking about. Some of it just hits so hard. Uh, that's present in this song, but then it goes it far beyond that. Um, a number of things, really, one of them being so even before the outro with those clean vocals, uh, that's that's worked into the song already at that point. But I had kind of been expecting the outro breakdown at that point, been expecting it to, to kind of take a shift and go into an outro breakdown, but it did not. Uh, that's sort of with 156, they, they have been bringing it back around. There's only two other singles, obviously, but with the EP and such, we have a, a decent idea of what's been going on. So for it to go into that outro, and it was just totally unexpected for me for it to end that way. Uh, also, with it having all the chaos too, it, it just covers so much for being an under four minute track um, because there are some of those riffs that are just like, also not even, it's not even just in the riffs at those part either. All of the instrumentals do a great job at sort of uh, creating this, you know, audio chaos, uh, which I know a number of bands do in different ways. Um, with 156, they, they tap into hardcore, I feel like, in a lot of ways, but they also just have something that sounds so different about them, even beyond this track having the, the synth, uh, the clean vocals in this one. They just have something, I think it might be, I don't know, I'm not gonna try to dive too far into it because I don't actually know, but I just love their sound. And this even, this is definitely one of those tracks that uh, expands their sound. It wasn't what I was expecting going into a new single from them. And I would have honestly myself been probably fine with, I don't know, a, a whole album of the sound of just a, a past embrace and for all to blame would, would probably work for me. But I know for some people, uh, stuff like that doesn't work for them. They need it to go in different places. And I feel like uh, this will cover that for others for me. Uh, as someone who was just really digging the sound that they had to begin with in those two singles, um, this is even more exciting. So this album is shaping up to be one of, probably one that we'll compete with. I've talked a lot about Fit for an Autopsy, uh, what the future holds, sitting very solidly in my number one spot. There's, you know, uh, Grayscale Season with Do You Like Violence, that's a great album, uh, but it's, it's sitting at my number two spot, and there's a bit of distance between those two. There have been a lot of excellent albums, don't get me wrong, but Oh What the Future Holds has been a 10 out of 10 for me, one since January when it dropped. I have been constantly repeating their pretty much no weeks where I ever don't revisit it. Most days I've listened to at least a few songs off of that album. So this is an, al an album I could see coming up to compete against that if this consistency is kept throughout it and this adding some variety to that sound uh, easy is even further exciting. So those are my thoughts after listening. This will go directly on repeat for me. I'm, I'm stoked on this if you cannot tell. So let me know what you thought in the comments. I will link the visualizer that I reacted to, which was cool as well because there was one point, I think, sorry, I'm, I know I started wrapping it up, but uh, there was one point in the breakdown where it's it sounded sort of chaotic, like I had mentioned. And with that visualizer and the, the static on the TV, it had matched, it sort of visually matched up with, with what it sounded like, if that makes sense. So anyway, all of that in the description. Beyond that, you can also find my link tree in the description, which will have the invite link for the Discord server that I talk about in every video. We have a lot of music related conversation in there, last FM stats, listening parties, things like that. So 
There's also unrelated to music conversation like pets and video games and, and all sorts of other stuff. So if you're interested in coming and join, check the community out. That will be there as well as my Instagram profile link where I post all music related content. I post a chart every Friday of what I've listened to the most over the course of the week. I post a lot of my merch collection, which is never ending, so I constantly have more things to post on there. I also do, if I've been to a show recently and have pictures or videos to share, I'll do that on my story sometimes about new YouTube videos, that sort of stuff. So on there, my handle is Rachel Reacts. It's the same as my YouTube channel, but again, it will be in that link tree in the description if you have any interest in following me. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.